All right, we'll get started. So thank you, mums and dads, for coming, and thank you to those on mic. As we shared in the email today, we record today and stick it on our website. So if there's anything we say that you want to come back to, you can watch this part again. Um, we'll present for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then it'll be Q&A. So just to kick us off, our camp will be in November. Um, you should have started to receive a camp platform in paper. We'll send this to you digitally as well. The payment schedule's on the front as well, so that you know how much it's going to cost and how um, and when to do your different installments. We're going to the Sunshine Coast Recreation Precinct. Has anyone been there before? Been in the Recreation Precinct? Excellent. So you've got a one-up on all of us. Because we've never been there before at all. So we're hoping it's going to be a great experience for everybody. We thought we'd start by just sharing a video straight from their website about the recreation centre itself. Queensland Recreation Centres have created a suite of four fully resourced themed programs designed to enhance the overall theme experience for students and teachers. Each is designed to link students' experience to the Australian curriculum. <laughs> You know, it's about team building, focus on communication, problem solving, trust, and respect. Be strong to this learning experience in resilience and how to react to and deal with difficult situations. A stand up is about leadership. The call it is required in the decision making process. Each theme has been designed for teachers by teachers like me. We have ensured the key educational experience is aligned to content descriptors within the health and physical education curriculum and that there is a wide range of additional key learning areas and general capabilities. The iconic beach location permits students to participate in a range of activities across our natural coastal environments. We encourage students to value the natural environment and to develop an understanding of the health benefits associated with outdoor recreation. Our camp provides the students with the opportunity to develop their interpersonal and their self management skills. Students are encouraged to take responsibility for looking after themselves and establish a supporting group to care for others. Mm -hmm. Learning opportunities have been aligned to specific activities. For example, during a Unite Team Building program, the key outcome of demonstrate effective communication skills can be comfortably aligned to the activity of canoeing. Our highly trained professional instructors will assist your students to participate in the physical activities and facilitate learnings that align with the national curriculum. Stewart camps provide curriculum resources that have been designed for band year levels 5, 6 and 7 and 8 and are designed to support teachers and students in preparation for their school camp experience. Through a selection of your theme programs and instructor-led activities, we are able to customise teacher and student resources to support your program. Schools are welcome to focus on areas outside our program themes or customised aspects across a number of themes. We aim to provide schools with all resources to achieve key educational learning experiences while students and teachers have an awesomely great time. So you can see there that the camp gut was run by the Queensland Government. Our theme will be leadership and unite, so team building and unite. So you saw a couple of the activities that the students will be engaged in. We'll know more about the activities that the students will be doing um, as we design the program in August. So at the moment, we're tentatively booked in for November, tentatively we're locked in. 
The activities that we'll be looking to do are kayaking, archery, rock climbing, giant swing, swimming, blow ropes, catapult, abseiling, and bike riding. We're also looking at canoeering to see if that's something that we want to see our kids through, but we need to look at the cost involved in that, how that impacts on our kids, and whether it is something that we want to be doing. We'll know more about that one in August. So just to show you some of the images that came from their website, we'll definitely be doing the giant swing and the low ropes. Mrs. Weber has asked that she be one of the people to be in the giant swing. So that be fun for everybody. Our folks, sorry. You've done it before? Okay, good. So leadership team building, healthy lifestyle, resilience and building confidence is our thing. These are the dorms right here, and I'll show you a picture of the outside later on. They'll either be four or six to a room, and it's male, female. So there won't be a combination, but they'll be separated and distinct. The cost is $250. So we've worked with Mrs. Chandler, and we've got a little schedule for you. Our payments can be made in instalments between now and November, um, and you can commence paying once she's returned from sick leave. So if you wanted to start getting ahead, you can come just straight into the office and start straight away. Formal invoices will be released in July once the final food costings have been finalised. But your out-of-pocket costs will be $250. Yeah. So I just need to walk you through some of the menu items because it's, um, it's important for you as parents to consider allergies and needs. So this is the menu that they've given us for breakfast. It's not bad to start thinking around your own child's needs because if there are any dietary requirements, just come and see us individually so we can factor that in. Alternatives to what's listed on the bike. So breakfast looks pretty good. <laughs> no, no adults, not just the teachers. So, so then the lunch across the three days will be a selection of these. That's too bad. It's funny, most of the slides are just a menu. <laughs> yeah. That's mainly because mums and dads want to ask questions about allergies and things like that. So we thought we'd be really clear. Again, we're going to package this as a PDF and send it to you so you can have it as a preference. And then there's dinner. We're only going for two nights, so we don't get all of those across two nights. We'll select which ones our kids are going to like the most and we'll submit that through to the camps so they can provide what our kids are doing. And obviously we got some dessert in there as well. So that's the outside shot of the dorm we're saying. It doesn't really look like a dorm. So this is where the boys will sleep and then the girls on the other side. We have access to Shelley Beach as part of the um, part of the campsite as well. Just like I said, dorms are separated. Each room has their own little lawn suite, so there's no communal toilet blocks and showers. Okay. Um, as far as medication goes, when you're a little package of at home, all you need to do urgently is to complete the parent permission form at the time. That tells us that you're committed to come so we can finalise numbers. Closer to the event date, you'll then bring in forms three and four. Form two shows you what to bring, what, the child, what your children need to bring. Forms three onwards to medication. That's any medication. If your child takes melatonin or takes Panadol, we can't administer it without a doctor or a pharmacist label. So if any of your children need to take medication for whatever reason, Please make sure towards the closer to the time these administration forms are sent in with a pharmacy labeled box with the medication so that we can administer. We can't just administer straight from the sash. It's got to be inside a labeled box. Um, that tends to be the most amount of time parents spend preparing is getting a pharmacist to label the different medications. Whatever is written on here is what we will administer. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So you just label that from the pharmacist and that'll cover us through. Obviously, if a child feels sick on camp and you need to administer, we phone you first to get parental consent if you haven't provided the label. 
We don't expect everyone to provide a label box or a miracle for every child. Yes. So it's just in case you're feeling a world leading into care. All right. So the rest of the time is really Q and A. So mums and dads, do you have any questions or concerns that we need to resolve on this information session? No? Comfortable? Excellent. It's going to be great for <laughs> Absolutely have to do every activity. And we'll film you doing it so we can laugh. Yep. No, it's a no go. Okay. So it's in your list of things that they're not allowed to bring. Obviously, if there are adjustments that need to be made, for example, some students require music to sleep at the moment. If that's a medically approved process with no IT, yep. then obviously none of that. But we keep all other devices at home. Right. We'll take all the photos under the sun and the videos, and we'll make sure that you have copies of everything. Okay. Do our teachers have any questions or comments you want to make? We conclude. All right. Well, thank you for coming. If you want to drag your heels and look around the hall, that's not a problem. Um, you can do that, but that's the end of our session. If you have any Individual questions, can't answer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah.